everybody, welcome back. We are going to be talking today about Georgia O'Keeffe, and that's why you're going to see so many red paints. She was an American artist. She's most famous for being um, for being a modernism artist and painter. So you've often seen probably the big red poppy flowers that she paints, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Great project for little kids, great project for beginning painters. I'm going to show you how easy it is to kind of duplicate her line art and how she mixes her colors to make a really fun, beautiful painting. So to get started, we're going to talk about these reds. There are so many shades of reds. These are some of my favorites from DecoArt from the Basic Americana line. We have a berry red, a calico red. Um, the cadmium red, and then the true red. This is actually an orange, but we're gonna use it a little bit too and mix it in. So we're gonna start with our darkest red, which I would say is probably the calico red. It's kind of a mix here between the calico and the berry, but we're gonna start with the calico. We're gonna shake it up and we're gonna put some on our palettes. We're gonna pop this top open and put some right here on the palette. I'm gonna get quite a bit because we're gonna need a lot for this painting. There we go. All right. My brushes here, you'll see, are all kind of large. Um, they have a lot of, a lot of bristles. That's because we're going to do some big line strokes. So we're going to start out by creating our center of our flower. And that's going to be just a basic circle. And kids love that. It can be any, any kind of circle. It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're going to do our big basic flower petals. Kind of how kids start out making flowers anyway, so a perfect segue into adding some dimension and some personality to their art. So I'm going to do this all the way around and get petals going for the entire poppy flower. So Georgia O'Keeffe lived to be 98 years old. She actually died when I was a senior in high school, not too long before my graduation. She was really famous for all of her um, flowers, but also a lot of landscapes in the Southwest. She was, in, she was based in the Southwest part of the United States, so has a lot of landscape art too. So once you've got your outline petals here, we're gonna go in and we're gonna add some other reds because she was really famous for using a lot of reds in her artwork. So we're gonna add some of this berry red and also the other two reds. I'm gonna get all of those on the palette. And they look similar, but actually they are gonna give kind of a texture look to the paint. So here's a little tip. This one still has its plastic on it. So I'm gonna shake it up because it's brand new. And I'm gonna turn the plastic away from the, um, the lid and that's going to make it so that this comes right off. So if you've never done that before, that is a great way to open up your paints. I'm going to put some of that on the palette. And see that's got a much different like uh, shade of red to it. And then we're going to add some of the true red. And I'm even going to put a little bit of that orange. And this is another new one. So I'm going to take the top off, shake it up, and put some on my palette. I didn't shake that good enough, but it'll still work. And then again here, we're gonna shake this one a little bit better and get some of that on, on our palette too. All right, now I'm just gonna get a little bit of each of these different colors and I'm gonna fill in kind of from the left-hand side of each one with a little bit of a mix of the different reds. And what you'll see is I'll start to get some character here. And it's okay if it's a little bit choppy or if it's a little bit like um, thicker so you have some dimension to it. That's fun and kids really like that. I mean, I really like that. <laughs> and then we're going to add a little bit of the orange right next to that um, mixture that we just did in each one. And that's going to give it a little bit of a character too. A little bit of a special look to it. And this one I'm going to kind of go over top because I don't have a lot of space left in that one in the white. That's just okay. And there. Now in this white area, I'm going to wait just a minute before I fill it in. I'm going to let this dry a little before I do that. And I'm going to work on my inside here. So I'm going to get a new brush. And for that inside, I want this to be more of an orange. So I'm just going to use the orange here. 
and I'm going to go around and kind of fill in an orange. So pretty, isn't it? I think it's so pretty. And I kind of dab paint it a little bit too, just like that. Well, there you go. Now this middle area, we want to be kind of a greenish blue. So I've left a little room on my palette over here to put my green and my blue. So I've got a sour apple and a turquoise blue. And together mixed, those are going to make the color that I want for this middle area. So I'm just going to dip it in the green, dip it in the blue. It'll mix there on my brush, which is perfect. Get a little bit more. I'm going to go bump up right next to this orange, but not mix with it. You could let it dry. Oftentimes, though, kids don't have the patience to um, wait for it to dry. So you can teach them how to have it just kind of bump up to your other color without mixing it. It just takes practice, and that's half the fun of making art. So there's my bluish color on the inside. So now I'm done with this brush because that's all I need to do with that one. And I'm going to get it out of the way and I'm going to go back to my reds. So I can grab either one of these brushes that I've already started with and I'm going to get just this middle color red. The, um, it's the, cad I don't know how to say, the cadmium red. <laughs> and I'm going to fill in this area with the cadmium red, this white. I'm kind of painting and I'm kind of dabbing. They can do it either way. And that's going to fill that in. And then after that, we're going to do something really fun. So I'm going to get all of this white area filled in. Kind of go around this outer line a little bit too, where I'm doing that. And then I want to get this area around the outside to have some petals as well. So this is where we're just going to kind of mix these reds together, a little bit of the orange, and we're going to add some petals in there. And then once we have all of those added, kind of filling in our space with this mixture of the reds. We're going to get a little bit of the darker red and go along the right hand sides of those extra petals. That's what gives it a little bit of a shadowy look and a little bit of dimension too. There. So our poppy is kind of done. We just want to look for any little white spots that got missed. Fill those in. Just little paint dabs. And this is the part that's hard. We're going to have to wait for the flower to dry before we can do the next steps in the middle of our poppy with our yellow. But while we're doing that, you can have two choices. You can either paint the blue around the edge, just being careful not to bump up too close to your flower, or you could have a snack break and you could come back and do your blue. I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. So I'm going to add a little more blue because I don't want the green mixed in here. I'm going to grab a new brush. And I'm going to get just this blue. And I'm going to go and paint all the way around the outside edge. So there are so many amazing things about Georgia O'Keeffe being an artist who is actually considered a pioneer artist, which is fascinating. And there are all kinds of tours and paint things that you can do. If you ever visit the Southwest, you can go and learn lots of things about her. Um, we did when we were in Tucson. Arizona, and it was fascinating, and I kind of fell in love with her artwork there. And here we go. So when you're doing this, the trick is to have enough paint on your brush that when you get close, you're not trying to fill it in in a way that you're going to grab any of that red. So you can kind of see that I'm just making sure I have plenty of paint on my brush to get close without mixing my colors. It's always a preference as to whether or not you paint the sides of your canvas. Some people do, some people don't. I tend to paint the sides. So in a minute, I'm going to pick this up 
and I'm gonna paint the sides of my canvas too. Just because when you hang it on the wall, if you're not framing it and you're hanging it just like this as a canvas, it gives it that finished look, which is nice. All right, so we're almost done with our blue on the outside edge, kind of representing the sky or just a contrast. Um, it's gonna be so pretty. Let me move my palette out of the way there so I can get closer here. I'm not really loving how right here you can see that first line that was ever painted, so I'm probably gonna go over that with a little bit more red paint in just a minute once I get this blue done. There we go. Uh-oh, I got a little bit of red there, no problem. I'm just gonna go over it with a little bit more blue. And there you have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my sides. I'm just gonna paint along the edge like that. I'm gonna get the sides all covered so when I hang it on the wall, it looks pretty no matter where you're looking at it from. If you're tall and you're looking down, if you're short and you're looking up, or if you're on the side of the room and you're looking at it from an angle you will see the pretty blue. There we go. All right, and then like I said, I'm gonna go back. I'm just not loving right along here where there is that um, very fine line. So I'm gonna put some red right in there. There. All right, so we're gonna to have to let it dry for a minute before we can do that inside area. Probably give it a good hour. You can always put a fan over top of it if you wanna dry it faster but we'll be right back to finish it up. All right, we're back and this middle area is dry enough now for us to do the next and the last step, which is to add the little yellow flakes of fun in our flower. So we're gonna put a little bit of yellow over here on our palette. And then to do this, we're actually gonna use a pencil. So I like to use the eraser end for making dots, um, especially for little hands. This is something really great for fine motor skills, and also it's just fun. So this we're gonna do, and we're gonna add the little dots in the middle of the flower. And we're also gonna add them around this little orange area that goes around the outside of the very center of the flower. I guess it's part of the center of the flower. And that is what we're going to do to complete our Georgia O'Keeffe red poppy painting. So, so fun and so pretty too. And easy, like easy enough for a beginner to create something really, really pretty. So there you have it. There is a Georgia O'Keeffe stylish um, red poppy, easy to make just using these basic Americana paints, some paint brushes, a palette, a canvas, and of course your handy dandy eraser to do your little dots. So have fun painting this. We hope that you love it and we hope that you make some beautiful flowers.